وَطْنُوا عَلَيْهِمْ نَبَا اِبْنَ آدَمَ بِالْحَقِّ Now because you know killing, slaughtering people, murdering people as we had noted one of the biggest crimes the basis of human society is respect for human life except when you know somebody has killed anybody else well, he will be killed in you know Qisas or there are three other forms also but by and large the human life is very sacred now for this you know for the sanctity of human life Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is narrating the incident which happened very early in human history two sons of Adam narrate to them O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the story of two sons of Adam Habil and Qabil Abel and Cain Iskarraba Qurbanam both of them offered a sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَتُقُمْبِلَ مِنَ حَذِمْ عَذِهِمَا from one it was accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلَمْ يُتَقَبَّلْ مِنَ الْآخَرِ and it was not accepted from the other now what was the sign that it has been accepted in those earlier days those were the days of miracles a fire descended from heaven and burnt the thing that was presented as a sacrifice for Allah if it was accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قُرْبَانٍ يَاكُلُهُ النَّارِ that is why it was demanded from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also as a proof of his truthfulness if he is a messenger of Allah you should also show this miracle that was you know the custom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the beginning when you know humanity was in its childhood so they needed something which can be seen and you know some miracles and some absolutely out of the way things to believe something now humanity is mature enough to use the intellect and the biggest guide and light for that intellect we have given you and this is the miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so it was accepted from one and not accepted from the other Qala then he said it is Qabil whose sacrifice was not accepted he became jealous and he said I will kill you Qala inna ma yataqabbalu allahu bin al-muttaqeen Habil said oh Allah accepts it from only the God-fearing people people who have taqwa who love Allah you should look deep down to your heart why Allah has rejected your sacrifice you should try to mend your ways why be angry with me if you outstretch your hand your arm to kill me I'm not going to extend my hand to kill you I have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I can't kill you killing a man is forbidden haram I want that if you are not you know going back on what you are saying if you will kill me what will it result you will have my sins also upon you so I want to punish you I want to give you the biggest punishment and what is that if you kill me you will take upon yourself my sins also in addition to your own sins whosoever is killed you know if he was innocent all his sins are burdened over the killer so he loses nothing he had to die anyhow not if today tomorrow not tomorrow day after that is to come but if somebody takes upon himself all your sins you are not the loser inni uridu an tabuwa bi ismi wa ismik fatakuna min ashabin nar and then you will become among the people of the fire and this is the reward and recompense for the evil doers and for the transgressors his baser self his animal self prompted him to kill his brother now there will always you know a conflict within you should I do it no no no, no, no don't do it it is haram Something within you says, don't do it. But something 
اگین ود ان یو سیز او گو ایڈ وائی ڈونٹ یو کل دس کانفلکٹ بٹوین ایول اینڈ گوڈ گوز آن ان بٹوین اینڈ ود ان دی انر انر پرسنالٹی آف یور اون سو دیٹ از ٹو وچ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی از ریفرنگ ہز بیسر سیلف ہز نفس امارا ان نفس المارا بی سو اٹ پرومپٹڈ ہم ٹو ٹیک دیٹ کریج اینڈ کل دی برادر فتوات له نفسه قتل اخيه فقتله ان يقتل هم فاصبح من الخاسرين and then he became repenting he became you know became losers and he said فباص الله غرابا يبحث في الارض Allah sent you know a crow who was scratching the earth maybe there is some you know in background maybe some crow had died and then the crow comes and scratches the earth so that there is a pit to bury the body of that crow maybe all this thing was shown to qabil by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through crow fabas allah uraba yabasu fil ard li yuriyahu kayfa yuari sawata akhi to show him how to hide the dead corpse the dead body of his brother because it was very early days of human history and culture now we didn't know what to do with him i have killed my brother what to do with the dead body let it rot here in the open in the sun what to do but allah sent a crow he scratched the, the earth and he had the guidance from that that i can you know bury my the dead body of my brother qala ya wailata ajastu an akuna misla hadal qura but then he said woe to me I was not able to be equal to this crow even for war ya sawata khi so that I could myself think how to cover the body that body of my brother fas bahamin al nadimin and now he became regretful remorseful min ajli zalik katabna ala bani israil for that reason we had declared upon bani israil what what he declared annahu man qatala nafsan bi ghairi nafsin If a person kills another person, except in revenge for a murder, if somebody has killed somebody, well, he can be killed in revenge as a punishment. But if he has not done that, not committed that that crime, or fasad in filler, or if somebody is doing mischief in the in the land, he has raised a rebellion, or he is committing you know decoities, mischief. for these people for these reasons for these crimes somebody can be hanged somebody can be killed but if without these two reasons baghair e nafsin aur fasad in fil ard if somebody kills another human being fa kan nama qatal nas jamia it is as if he has killed the whole of humanity because he is cutting at the roots of human society that is the very basic foundation of the human society respect for each other's life how can you live together if you don't respect each other's life how you can how can you live together if you don't respect each other's right of property these two things are basic for human culture and society social order so the, you are cutting the root so as if you have murdered the whole of humanity woman ahyaha and whosoever saves one human life فكان ما احيا الناس جميعا it is like saving the whole of humanity ولقد جاءتهم رسلنا بالبينات and our messengers came to them with clear teachings بينات بين is something which is self evident this word is used for miracles also this word is used for ayat al quran also ayat al bayanat and the teachings of the deen of allah which are very open and which are very clear to the soul of human beings walaqad jaahum rusulna bil bayyinati thumma inna kaseeran minhum ba'da zalika fil ardi la musrifun but even after them many of them in the land they are treacherous they exceed the limits of the sharia 